Hello and welcome back to episode 58 of the x -Pack series. She is about to get her exhaust on this week. Um, myself and a friend, say hello, are going to attack out the stainless steel exhaust. Thankfully he's a professional, I'm not. But um, yes, most of it probably will be time lapsed. I'll we'll try and get some close ups of the work done, but we need to get a shift on because just getting mapped in a week and two days. So I don't have time to be starting to faff about with a GoPro. <laughs> um, enjoy, enjoy the music, enjoy the time lapses, and we'll see you at the other end. <laughs> Okay, so we've started to copy the middle pipes out of the Sportex system. Um, you can see one of them sitting there. So that's sort of the old Sportex off the red car. The principle's the same. We still want it to come out round the gearbox mount, go up in tight towards the prop shaft, and then kick out um, up into that area there, up in around the five link. Um, so we're copying those two. Word of warning for anybody buying the Parkside bandsaw for doing exhausts, don't, it is useless. Um, it's very hard to get a straight cut and you can't cut bends in it either because it's too tight and you can't actually close the saw down to cut them. The saw cuts like this, like this, it doesn't cut straight, it's just useless. Um, I have a set of Milwaukee blades there for it to try and see if that helps the blade flex issue, but for now we've moved on to the chop saw. This is some of the welding I'm done already, and yeah, we're getting there. I think my assistance is required here, so I'll nip on. <laughs> okay, so Ryan's away home for the day. Um, I'm going to cover up my lovely artwork here that you've seen me do before. Now right, this is his quality here versus this. When your mate said he could do it cheaper. <laughs> but anyway, long story, but I can't be bothered redoing this for now. I'm gonna wrap it, it'll do. You not see it underneath the wrap, so yeah. Need to work out how to use this stuff. I don't know any other stuff I've done in the past. I think it said to put it on wet, but I think this stuff said you don't have to, so I'll have to give it a go. did <laughs> so that's this done I'm gonna fit it now
Okay, so we have progress. It's currently just hanging there, obviously. But whenever it's bolted up, it should come into shape. Um, we've got the middle section complete. Um, and I think you'll agree it looks pretty good. Um, need to join it into the flexi and the downpipe here. Have it made, just finishing off the welding of the wee joiner bit for here. Then we can move on to the far side. Get this bit, hopefully it's a bit simpler this side to go from there to there. Um, once that's done then it's just, well whatever I say just, I need to get it pointed out over the rear axle and the silencers and tips on. So it is proven to <coughs> be time consuming but for instance we had to start pie cutting this bit um, because it just was not handy to get the hangers that we needed with conventional bends. So yes, progress has been made. Um, I'll update these in another wee bit whenever we hopefully have this linked up and this linked up. Her moving under her own steam outside again. Um, typical fashion, run out of gas on the last <laughs> tail side section, tailpipe section. So, getting more gas tomorrow. We'll finish it off Friday. One side completely done, the whole way up. The other side is done just before the axle. Um, so, yes, I'll move it outside because you can't quite see it in there. But just where the car had parked, the sunlight was beaming right at us earlier and it was hottest day of the year so yeah probably haven't done the priorities really great but I'm going to do the carpet on the four link boxes and stuff to start the interior if you have to put stuff in you might as well start with the carpet so I'm going to start at one side I think and glue it all and pull and stretch the whole way until so I'll start this side and pull and stretch it all to get to the far side then trim it all at the end um, that's the plan anyway. Never done this stuff before. This is the same stuff they used in Project Binky. So look good in their video. It'll probably look diabolical on mine. As per usual. But anyway. Dashboard is currently just resting in place. Um needs glued in. I'm gonna just I think from mapping I'm just gonna self or double sided tape the fascia thing in to be honest for now. Um and I need to get the seats fitted as well. I'm gonna do it on Friday. So yeah, wheel spacers are now all on, by the way, all the way around. Um, so 25 on the back and 20 on the front. Including a disc in the front, so it's probably 27, 28 on the front. And 25 in the back, so we're sitting quite nicely. Yes, it's nice to see this. The Granada. And my friends Mark 1 Capri all sitting together. Um, hopefully we'll get that at many shows in the future. But anyway, for now, I was going to do a time lapse, but I forgot the GoPro. So I'm just going to have to watch Project Binky's latest episode to see how the carpet's put on. And then I'll show you how mine turns out.
Okay, so in that last bit of video, you saw the car start up for the first time with this new exhaust on. Um, I'm sure you'll understand that it just doesn't sound as good on the video as it does in real life. Um, even with the external microphone, it probably still doesn't sound great. Although, albeit I haven't actually had it on the laptop to video it or to, to listen to it properly on the earphones yet. But there is a finished article of exhaust. All done. This side was relatively handy. You can see the amount of room I have around the downpipe. This side, just not simple up there. But anyway, we got done. Um, would we do things differently the next time? Absolutely. But for a first attempt from both of us at doing a full exhaust system, we are very pleased with how it turned out, to be honest. Um, the exhaust doesn't seem to be hitting anywhere. Obviously, I haven't had it up the road just yet, but it's fairly tight up in there. Well, I think it should be okay, especially with uh, those bad boys there, adjustable shocks. So I can sort of adjust how much or how soft the rear end is. Um, so yes, that's the exhaust all tied up. Um, done, finished, thankfully. Car has had a bit of a delay on it. Um, I know in the last video I said it was going for air mapping in a, a week and two days, but due to the no fault of the mappers, um, his, he's having some issues up there with the dyno and stuff, so um, he's trying to fit me in next week. So whenever this video goes live, it'll probably be, hopefully be a few days later, and I'll be up with mapping. Um, yes, I'm going to finish off the inside. Um, That'll be probably the next episode. I'm going to finish off the inside of the car, get the carpet uh, all done, get the seats and stuff in for the last time. I have all the wheels now on for the last time, spacers and stuff sorted properly, wheel bearings adjusted up. I have sensors in, I have gauges in, I have everything really sort of finished, ready to go for mapping now. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm gonna start in there. I'm not gonna go through it now because obviously it's next episode, but yes, we're making progress. As of today, because this thing's pretty much ready to go, um, I need to swap the seatbelt stocks in this because I realized they're not the right ones. But as this is sort of fairly ready to go, I'm gonna do a bit more work to the Granada. So that's another episode coming up soon, hopefully episode two of this thing. Um, so, Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with us. I know the exhaust one, there was probably a lot of music in this video because it was quite hard to video and hold pipes and stuff. Um, but thanks for sticking with us anyway. And if you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe, like, share button, pop over to my Patreon and the website as well. I'll put the link up to the website, hopefully a few pictures of some merchandise and stuff. If you want to support the channel that way and get something cool in return, pop over to christopherasegarage.com forward slash merchandise and it'll be updated with any new projects that I'm, or products, sorry, that I'm in the middle of doing. I have a couple of designs away getting done for new stickers and bits and pieces. So yeah, until the next one, which will hopefully be next week. I'm not sure whether it's gonna be this or this, but sure, it's content. It's something to sit down on a Saturday afternoon and watch, isn't it? So bye.